In this Photoshop tutorial, we'll practice some hair extraction, uh, aka uh, we're going to be trying to uh, use the chroma key effect. Imagine your subject is in front of a green screen or a blue screen. Beginners might choose the magic wand tool to just choose this area and cut it out, but you can see that there's too much green left over, especially when you can kind of see through the person's hair. So let's press Ctrl Z. Let's try going to select. This is our friend. Going to choose a color range. So when you choose a color range, you just choose the color of the green screen and then click on OK. Notice how we have um, a better selection. So now when I press delete, this is a lot closer. Uh, we can even further improve this by choosing the actual hair. So let's go to select inverse. So now we're selecting the hair and going to select refine edge. This is something else we can play with. When I choose refine edge, I'll just choose the smart radius and I will try adjusting these amounts just to see what kind of interesting effect it's going to have on this uh, here. If I change the smoothing settings, it might make it look a little bit better. The feathering settings, you can see that too big of a feather is not appropriate, but this might help depending on how much you decide to use or not use. The contrast, if you make it too strong, it looks a bit stiff, so this is something you might want to play with and the shifting edge, if I shift it inside, to, it gets rid of a lot of the green, but then it looks completely too gone. So this is something where you might want to just play around with just a little bit. And there's this uh, button called, uh, checkbox called decontaminate colors. So when you decontaminate the colors, it tends to just get rid of some of the green residue. And you can just play around with the different amounts here, which shows when you click on OK. So somehow, if I press Ctrl Z, this is before, Ctrl Z again, after, this is a lot better than before. And this can be used to uh, change the background of a model to some nice beach warm place where you'd rather be. So hopefully this you find this tutorial useful, and uh, you can have some uh, fun working with uh, frizzy hair.